All right, people, so we back. We're going to take you back. We're going to go back. Uh, we're going to go back to uh, the early 90s, Corcoran. Uh, so I already touched on this one of my other ones. You should check that one out, too. But uh, going back to Corcoran, and now I'm out of the shoe, and I'm on the main line. And, you know, this is my first time level three. So, you know, I'm young, you know what I'm saying, you know, but I'm a knucklehead. So, you know, I, I come up in here and, and, and I'm expecting the worst. And I'm, you know what I'm saying, you know, and I'm bringing, I'm bringing the worst with it. You know what I mean? You know, so I'm coming up in here with, with a bad attitude. So when I get there, the first thing I do is I run into the police. And they beat the brakes off of me. So now, you know what I mean, you know, I'm. I'm rethinking that, you know what I'm saying, you know, I'm, I'm going to take on the world shit. <laughs> I just want to survive. But life expectancy of a white crip in prison in Corcoran back in the 90s? Yeah, that wasn't, uh, the odds weren't on you. But that's the thing, you know what I mean, you know seen somebody else did a video i want you know what i'm saying you know i don't have a name but on the top of my head but it's a rare breed somebody threw a clip of my video and put me up in there you know salute appreciate it good looking now um so it's 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 a uh, i'm not the only white crip but you know what i'm saying you know uh, i'm i'm one of a handful that that's been to level four and walked in and walked out you know uh as we've lost we've lost some people but you know what i'm saying you know we've taken some along the way too uh anybody that knows the california prison system his design is, is, is to keep the inmates fighting the inmates. So, you know, they, they, they push their, they, they allow, uh, racial stuff to go on to keep us, you know what I mean? You know, fighting amongst ourselves. So we can't get together and fight against them. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's the way things are, but you know, I was on uh I was on the losing end of that one too. Uh I was just trying to survive. You know, I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't no ain't no quit in me, ain't no stop, ain't no, you know what I'm saying, I give. You know what I mean, you know, it's not my get down. And you know what I'm saying, you know, it's it's been painful, you know what I mean? Cause sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you know, <clears throat> you have to take the loss to learn the lesson. But I fight to the very end, and you know what I'm saying. Even then, you know what I'm saying. You know, you can take a loss, and then you see it hurts even more. Uh, but you know what I'm saying. You know, the way I see it, I'm indestructible. You know, I uh, I learned I was indestructible a long time ago. You know, drove a quad off the side of a mountain. Life flight to the hospital, back broken two places, arm broke, nose broke, toe broke. <laughs> and uh, that day I got up and walked out the hospital. They had me on some pretty good pain medication, you know, but I was off all pain medication in three weeks. You know, I don't believe, I don't feel pain. I'm not saying I don't, it's just a mental thing. If you say it, then you, you feel it. You know what I mean? I don't feel pain. I'm indestructible. You know, I can't be stopped. You know, it's, it's like that song. I love that song, I Love Black. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. You know, most people don't know, but that's okay, because if you don't know, you can ask somebody. They'll tell you. But uh, all jokes aside, I know I'm not indestructible, but you know what I mean, you know, in my mind, I'm indestructible and, uh, I use that to push, to keep me pushing, to keep me going. 
That's how I get through everything. Push. Pushing is hard. Sometimes, sometimes pushing is just pray until something happens. And, uh, you know, man upstairs, he takes care of his kids. Even the special ones, I know. I'm one of them. Uh, so we back on the yard in Corcoran. And it was, uh, it was my first experience seeing how, you know, reality of things are. Because, you know, I'm thinking, oh, this is level three, you know, maximum security. You know what I mean? You know. Oh, okay. You know, it's lifers on the yard. And, you know what I mean? You know, I'm a kid. I don't know nothing. So, you know what I mean? You know, all this stuff is in my head. And I'm looking, feeling things out and seeing how things are going. I motherfucker, yeah, man, they blew my mind. <clears throat> I'm sitting here. And there's some other fools talking. You know what I mean? You can hear them. And the motherfucker straight told the dude, yeah, I told, so what? What you going to do? I got life. I'm like, oh, it's going down. It's going down. They going to get, they going to plug this fool. They going to get in. And I'm waiting. And what happened? Wait a minute. He just said he told. But. He told Oh, shit, I ain't gonna do nothing. He gonna tell on me. Damn. But it's probably the truth. That's the way it is inside there. And that messed me up because I'm like, you know what I mean? You know what? I'm thinking these is, these is killers. These is, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, what the hell? Nah, it's a bunch of idiots. You know, it's people fighting over Top Ramen. It's people die. There's people have died over a Top Ramen. Who does that? And that's the thing. It's like, you know, there's something as little as a Top Ramen between two people can cause two races to basically go to war. You know, now we don't have guns and all that. We have what you can get your hands on, what you can make, what you can put together, what you can scrounge up. You know, if you can get a hold of that in my bucket, that broom. Man, look, I, look, I seen a motherfucker get hit with a pooper scooper. The little thing you sweep trash into. Oh yeah, man, that's a weapon too. <laughs> Whatever you can get when this time, when this, you know what I'm saying, you know, when the yard gets cracking or, you know what I'm saying, you know, the, the dorm, the tank, whatever, when it, when it goes down, you know what I'm saying, you know, you better be ready. You know what I mean? Because you never know, you know what I mean? You never know what the next guy got going on. And, and like, I, like I said, I done met some idiots. <laughs> I've been the idiot a few times. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? You know, I done, I done started some stupid shit over stupid shit. But, you know what I mean? You know, it was for a purpose. And I always had a purpose. If I did something, there was there was a purpose behind it. I was, I was thinking. I wasn't just acting, you know. And I, I was trying to survive. That That's my whole, you know what I'm saying, you know. My whole existence in prison is, I was just trying to survive. That's it. And, you know, after, you know, you would think, you know what I'm saying, you know, okay, the police, you know what I mean, you know, after the police beat the brakes off of you, damn, who else, you know what I'm saying, you know, I got to trust. I'm figuring, you know what I'm saying, you know, they gonna, hey, they gonna be the ones that save me, right? Hell no, man. Nah, you can't count on them for shit because they're going to be in the back eating donuts. <laughs> so uh, don't count on them because then they're going to be mad because you made them do work. You made them run. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'd have, seen, I'd, have, I'd have seen a handful of uh, officers that was, you know, I mean, you know, one too many times at the donut table. You know what I mean? You know, like, 
No, you know what I mean? You know, got to run, you know what I'm saying, across the yard. Oh, yeah, when he gets there, he's going to be mad at you. Whether you did something or not, he's going to be mad at you. And sometimes they let him take that out on you. And that's, you know what I'm saying, you know, just being real, that's the way it is. And, you know, you learn one way or another, you know. If you don't learn, you know what I'm saying, you know, you forced to repeat that mistake, you know, I don't re I'm, like, I'm the one here to tell you, you know what I'm saying, I'd have repeated a bunch of them. But, you know, you got to learn somehow. And if you don't learn, then you're going to be stuck in that same spot, the same hole, the same trap. I'm tired of being in a trap. I'm tired of being in the hole. I'm tired of being being an animal trying to chew my leg off just to get away from this. I'm tired of living in a box. I'm out here living now. All the years I spent up in there was just survival. That's it. So we was up in there and it was a bunch of crazy shit because, you know what I'm saying, while I was on the yard, you know, I used to be out there playing basketball and there was a, it was another white crip at the yard. And this dude, you know what I'm saying, was a youngster, you know what I'm saying, a little dude, you know what I mean, you know, small, short, slit, skinny, you know what I mean, you know, youngster. Now, I'm, you know what I'm saying, you know, 6'2", you know what I mean, you know, like 220, 225, you know what I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big boy. So this dude, he little, you know what I mean, you know, but he, you know what I'm saying, you know, he with the business. So, you know what I mean, you know, we chop it up, you know what I'm saying, you know, but I don't really know him, you know what I'm saying, you know, I'm with the Dago, the Dago Rip. So he over there, you know what I'm saying, you know, with, with his, his folks, but you know what I'm saying, he's a crip. So, it, you know what I mean, whatever it is, it is. And if it comes to it, you know what I'm saying, you know, I'm a, it's, it's going down. So, uh. He was cool, but he was only there for a hot minute. And then, you know what I mean, you know, they have, okay, the yard opens up at a certain time, say, say, 8 in the morning, right? So, at 8 in the morning, you know what I'm saying, you know, they open up your doors for like five minutes and let you out. And you go out to the yard, you know what I mean? You know, once everybody's out, out of their cell in the building, you know what I mean? You know, they close all the doors and then you're out there on the yard. But then if the, the yard is open, you know what I mean, they have what's, what's called an unlock. Like every hour, you can go in, you know what I'm saying, you know, go get something out of your cell, close your cell, and then they'll close all the cells. Then they'll have an outline and you can come back out to the yard. Or you can stay in the day room, you know what I mean, get on the phone, watch the TV in the day room, play cards with somebody in there, or go out to the yard. They got exercise, they got all the, you know what I'm saying, all the BS on the yard. So, you know, uh, the uh, the food comes out from uh, from the unlock. And no, it was, he was out, we was out on the yard, we went in, I went in on the unlock. A lot of people, you know, go in to get something It's hot, you know, you know, in the middle of the day or whatever, go get something to drink, you know what I mean, you know, get whatever you need, and then come back out. So we went in, and then, you know what I'm saying, when we go in, doors closed, woo, 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 it's less people in the yard. The white boys, two white boys, get at popcorn from a, from a sack, you know what I mean, you know, garden block. So uh, they try to get at cuz, cuz, tip them up, cuz, put hands on, put hands on, we, 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 we don't know what's going on, the yard down. So we in the building sitting on the ground. Once they let us up, you know what I mean, you know, ain't no need, you know what I'm saying, you know, ain't no need even going back out the yard, you know what I'm saying, everybody's coming in, go and take it to your cell. So we don't know what happened, you know what I mean, you know, then they bring everybody in and we hear, you know what I mean, you know, what went down. So the white boys already took a loss, you know what I'm saying, you know, some motherfuckers like, ah, you know what I'm saying, it was two against one, they look bad, let it go. But that's the way it is. That's the way it is, you can count on everybody going to let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. But it's your life on the line. And sometimes you can't let it go. I know. 
I done been stabbed, you know what I'm saying, like 13 times. I done, I done been stabbed behind my ear, I done been stabbed in my chin, I done been stabbed over my eye, I done been, you know what I mean, you know, I done been stabbed in the back and the arm, you know what I'm saying, the side. And that's the thing, you can't wait for somebody else to come do something to you. You, you gotta, you know what I'm saying, you know, you gotta initiate if, you know what I'm saying, you know, if you in that situation, I don't ever want to be in that situation again. But if you in that situation and, you know what I mean, you know, it's, it's looking ugly, you know what I mean, you know, you got to push, you know what I mean, you got to take off, you know, and I, I only, I mean, that's how I survived, you know what I mean, I remember I met another white crip, he hit a yard I was on, and uh, it was, you know what I'm saying, I told him, you know what I'm saying, straight up, you know what I mean, because police, you know what I'm saying, you know, the homie's like, yeah, man, white boy, woo. So I go, I get that, hey, man, C.O., what's up, what's up? We ain't even gonna mention the dude's name because the dude, you know what I'm saying, washed out and folded up. But, uh, so, you know what I'm saying, the homies tell me he up in the gym, whatever, you know what I'm saying, you know, temp house, he's gonna be getting transferred, you know what I mean, but he's on my yard, so I can go holler. So I go holler. Hey, man, check this out. I tell the police, hey, man, my nephew's up in here. Let me holler at him. All right, this is me being a good Samaritan trying to look out. So I tell the dude, you know what I mean, look here, man, you know what I'm saying, you know, white boys look at you funny, say something funny, act funny, take off, keep taking off until they leave you the fuck alone, ain't nothing else gonna work, that works, that's all I got, bam, that was it, we didn't have nothing else to talk about, you know what I mean, I went on about my business. I go back to the yard a little while later, you know what I'm saying, you know, we lock up, count, you know what I mean, you know, it was chow time. Child time alarm go off in the gym, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, I mean, you know, shit's always going off. You never know what the fuck is going on with a lot of the stupid shit. Bam, soon, you know what I'm saying, it was done. Oh, yeah, that was the, the white boy, woo doo woo doo woo you know what I'm saying, crip, what? You know what I mean, you know, oh, okay, so white boy, you know what I'm saying, you know, said something funny, looked at him funny, he took off. Okay, all right, you know what I mean, you know, he did what he was supposed to do. I understand, you know what I'm saying, you know, smart man, he listened. So he go to the hole, you know what I mean, you know, life goes on, I don't pay no attention, you know what I mean, you know, I've been here for years, you know what I mean, you know, I'm established, you know what I mean, you know, I'm good. Man, you know what I'm saying, you know, the pole do goes to classification, all this shit months later, you know what I mean, you know, now they send him back to the yard because he told him, yeah, my uncle is on that yard. Who's your uncle? Snow Rock. This dude don't know my, my government name. This dude only knows Snow Rock. But he tells the administration, his captains and program administrators and, you know what I mean, you know, the associate wards and, and what the fuck. Oh, yeah, we know Snow Rock. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they all know Snow Rock. The Snow Rock been here for a long time, you know what I mean? Snow Rock's been, you know what I'm saying, you know, Snow Rock made his position known and has held his spot and hasn't, you know what I'm saying, you know, let go of his spot. So, you know what I mean, you know, this dude, oh, yeah, you're his nephew? Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're going to put you in, we're going to send you back over there. They put him in my building. I'm in the Amity building. I'm close to going home. I'm trying to prepare. You know what I mean? All went bad. <laughs> so, this dude comes into my building, and it's chow time. So... We've been on, we've been on modified program, modified program. We've been on lockdown, stuck in ourselves to the police. You know what I'm saying? You know, oh, we didn't have a short staff or, or modified program because we were, we were having a break or modified program because they, you know what I'm saying? You know, didn't want to hang out on the yard with us. Didn't want to put up with us. You know what I mean? It happens a lot. It's normal program. You know what I mean? But that's the way it is, you know? They're just doing their job, you know, and some people don't do their job well. So, uh, they put put him in the building, and then we're walking to chow, and that's when somebody gets at me. But now, one of the homies gave him some tobacco. So now, he just getting out the hole. He just wants to smoke. And I understand, I'm a smoker, you know what I mean? I used to smoke two packs a day. So, I understand how it is he just wants to smoke. But he don't know where he's at. He doesn't know what he's doing. He just thinks, you know what I'm saying, you know, everything is hunky-dory and it's not. Because these fools was creeping on him. 
And, you know what I mean? So he gets some tobacco and he, you know what I'm saying, you know, we walk to Chow. Now, they were already at Chow when they told me. So I stopped, and I, you know what I'm saying, you know, I'm like, where is he at? Where is he at? He's already leaving out of the Chow Hall because he got a cigarette and he can smoke. But he can't smoke in, in here, in the Chow Hall. And so I see him going out the door. And I see the six skinheads milling around him, but he don't. So I drop my tray and I cut through the tables. Two of the homies see me and follow me. I go, you know what I'm saying, you know, dip through, get out. I come outside and the, the, the white Crips name, you know what I mean? You know, we not gonna bring up, but I'm like, hey, come here. You know what I mean? So he turns around, you know what I'm saying? You know, and I see the skinhead shot crawler. So, you know what I mean? You know, he was with, he was walking with one of the homies. You know what I mean? You know, when I called him and he turned and stopped and I'm like, you know what I'm saying? You know, keep going. So I see the shot caller see me and he's looking at me and I'm walking up to him. But it's like all his homies around him. So the white boy's over there walking down the walkway. You know what I mean? We're on our way back between the chow hall and the building we just passed the canteen if you know a yard you know what i mean you know the canteen is the end of the building and then there's chain link fence and then it goes down and then there's an amity building a little gate and a table you know what i'm saying on the inside and this is the roadway where we walk back to the building on the other side of the picnic table is you know what i mean you know the uh, another picnic table which is right in front of the roadway that goes into this building that's where we're going that's it so i'm walking towards the shot caller and and uh he's looking around and i hear somebody say do it do it and i look around to see where the white boy crip was at and he's up here and i see somebody and they hit him in the neck so i'm thinking they just blasted this dude he's dead he's gonna die he just got hit He's down. So, you know what I mean? You know, I'm like uh, two steps away from the shot caller and I take two steps and just give him all I got. So I break his jaw and he goes down. But now his like, you know what I'm saying, right hand man is right there. So, you know what I mean? When I pop him, he's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, protecting him. It's too late for that. Now you got to protect yourself. And I'm all over him. You know what I mean? You know, after a two-piece, you know what I mean? You know, he got one in, you know what I'm saying? You know, but he drops. So now I get swarmed, you know what I mean? You know, by, you know what I'm saying, all the other six. So it ended up, you know what I'm saying, you know, all being said when it was all done, it was 16 skinheads. It was me, the white crip who supposedly got stabbed, but I'll tell you about that. And then two real crips, you know what I mean? So the white boy that got stabbed, he didn't even break the skin. Dude stabbed him with something that put a red mark on his neck. It didn't even break the skin, didn't even scratch him or nothing. So this is, you know what I'm saying, straight, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, when inmates attack comedy show. You know what I mean? You know, but I didn't know. So, you know what I mean? You know, I, I took off. So now, like I said, I get sworn. So now I'm swarmed by like, you know what I'm saying, you know, six of them. And I'm trying to fight, you know what I'm saying, and I go down. When I go down, I get a hold of somebody's jacket. I got that jacket and I just, I just, I know there's a top to the jacket and there's a head up there. So I'm just swinging towards that because I can't see because I'm, you know what I'm saying, you know, I'm getting hit all upside the head. But I don't know, somebody got a, got a little, 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 uh, little knife, right? So I get a little cut over my eye, you know what I mean, you know, ain't nothing big, you know what I'm saying, you know, my nose is bleeding. So, you know what I mean, you know, I go down, when I get the jacket, I swing on the head and we go down, getting up, getting up again, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm bing, 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 I can't do nothing, I'm on the ground again, I get up again, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm on the ground again, this time the police is here. And I'm on the ground like, what took you so long? You know, I don't say nothing, but in my head, what the fuck you took you so long, motherfucker? <laughs> These motherfuckers playing on my head like it's a drum. But, you know what I'm saying, all being said, you know what I'm saying, you know, 
all I got, you know what I'm saying, you know, I got a little cut over my eye, I got the little band-aid, you know what I'm saying, you know, and then my nose was bleeding, you know what I mean, you know, my nose been broke seven, seven times that I know of, but, you know what I mean, you know, that's nothing. The dude, uh, the shot caller, they said his teeth, his jaw was broke on both sides right here, and his teeth were wiggling in his jaw because there wasn't, you know, the jaw wasn't holding it. So his jaw got broken three places. And, you know, I mean, you know, I, I, that's, I got priors because that's that was I was in for breaking somebody's jaw in three places. And I don't know how the hell this happens, you know, but I think it's, you know, when I first went to county jail, a guy told me he was going to make me his uh, bitch. And, uh, you know, uh, let's just say I was a little frightened. So, you know what I mean, you know, I, I went up in there swinging and, you know what I mean, you know, he ended up with six stitches over one eye, um, I think four stitches under the other eye and a uh, broken nose all bleeding profusely. But I broke my hand. And then when I was, you know what I'm saying, you know, having, uh, well, I had, uh, I had to have surgery on my hand because of how I broke it. So the people in the medical tank told me what to do. Yeah, do this and they'll give you more drugs. So, you know, I'm laying there and they got me, they got my arm in the, under a curtain. I can't see nothing, but they told me when you feel a scratch, that's them cutting you open. When you feel that, yell and they'll give you more dope. Really? I'm going to try that. Yeah, I did that shit. Doctor cut a nerve in my hand. So now I ain't got no feeling in this part of my hand. So, you know, I don't know. Ever since then, I've been having a problem with, you know what I'm saying, you know, breaking the occasional jaw. And most of the time, I'm, I don't, I don't go around looking to break people's, I don't look, go around looking to hit nobody. But, you know, in the situation I was in, I had to defend myself a lot. And sometimes defending yourself means attacking first. So, you know, it happens, and you know, I mean, you know, I, uh, I don't know. I'm not really proud of it, everybody. I'm saying, you know, you're a legend. I'm a legend because I survived. Nah, I'm just some. I'm just like everybody else, messed up, trying to make it the best way I know how. But so back to Corcoran. So at this time, I remember I was working in auto mechanics. I wasn't working. I was in vocational auto mechanics. And it was funny how things worked because the COs, it was all COs cars in there. And it was, it was a couple COs who were entrepreneurs, let's say, because they were bringing in cars and, and, and we would strip them out. I'm talking about the interior would go to the vocational interior shop. The the uh, body would go to the body shop. The uh, auto mechanics would rebuild engine, transmission, front end, rear end. You know what I mean? We're in there grind, uh, with grinding wheels, cleaning the frame, and you know what I'm saying? You know, stripping it down to bare metal and, you know, painting it, coating it, putting it all back together piece by piece. And when we're done, you know what I mean? You know, every now and then the cop brings in some pizza. Hey, good looking out. I'm looking up these cars on, you know what I'm saying? You know, at the time they had this, uh, I, f I found this is a big, uh, big old car magazine and, and auto mechanics, right? And it was uh, Hemmings Motor News. If anybody knows, that's the spot they got, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can find, you know what I'm saying? You know, just you can find most cars in there. And it's, you know what I mean, you know, they might be on the other side of the country. <laughs> but, you know what I mean, you can find what you want. You know what I mean? If you, you know, I'm a car guy, so I like cars. You know, one day I'm going to get me, I'm going to give me my, uh, I'm going to give me a 6.5 convertible coupe. White on white, in white with snowmobile on a license plate. I want it gas monkeyed out. I want that, the, uh, the, LS3, overdrive transmission, air ride suspension, you know what I mean? You know, under the hood, I want a brand new car. I want new upgraded suspension, steering, brakes, everything. 
And then outside, I wanted to look at all original. Caddy wires, gangster white walls, all white, chrome redone, shining like new money with a hitch on the back. So I can hook up my toy hauler with my Lolo and go to a car show, just me and the wife. You know what I mean? We pull in, set the caddy on the ground. You know what I mean? Jump out back, let, let, let the low rider out the toy hauler. Close it up, hop in low rider, go out to the show, have some fun, clown, play, enjoy myself, live my life. Whoa, not now. Um, so anyway, <laughs> where was I at? Oh, I was in the low low, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> but so, you know, I mean, you know. Then when we get done playing, we'll pull the Lolo back up, put it in a toy hauler, jump back in the low rider, lift it up, drag the Lolo home with the caddy. Me and the wife had a good good time out. I don't need much small things in life. All right, so. I was in auto mechanics and uh, that's when I realized that I don't want to be a mechanic. <laughs> you know, we did a lot of work. I learned a lot, but you know, I learned there that if you want to be a mechanic, then you got to go to school like every other year and every, every year a new car comes out with some new technology and you got to go learn that if you want to be ASC certified. You know, I know the basics. I know how, you know what I'm saying, you know, combustion engine works. I, you know what I'm saying? I know the basics. I know how to ratchet a wrench. And, 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 you know, I'm not I'm not slow. But do I want to do that every day, all day? Yeah. I like cars. You know what I mean? You know, one day, you know, I want to get my 65 and take it apart by myself. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need help. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna need help with a lot. But I got, I got, got a few good friends. I got, uh, I got a people. I got some people in my life. You know what I mean? You know, some of my folks. So uh, if I do something, you know what I mean? You know, they gonna be there to help, help make sure. You know what I'm saying? You know, I do it the right way and get it done the right way. But uh, but that's one of my dreams. You know what I'm saying? You know, '65 convertible Coupe de Ville, white on white, in white, snowmobile on the license plates. I love the '65 because of the top and bottom headlights. It was the first year they came with it, and it's like you know, what I mean, I always tell my wife, "Babe, this is 18 feet of Detroit steel. It's 18 feet long." I'm like, yeah, it's 18 feet long. I looked it up. I think it was like 22 feet. Like, damn. But that's it, you know what I mean? Just long and flat. You know what I mean? You know, top down. Man. Let my hair blow in the wind, you know? Man. All right. So uh we we gonna we gonna we gonna let this one go for the day. I'm already having a good one. You guys have a good one. Hit that subscribe, hit the like. Why don't you share with somebody? Somebody might want to hear it. Thanks. See you on my next one. All right. You can go.